downstream, which is the way we're looking now. I do see a steelhead fisherman down here. And we'll go down and see who it is and have a chat with him. There's one boat here today in the slot. They're fishing for steelhead. I'm going to go down and see if I can pull into the right of them out of the current and shoot the bull a bit. The boat are parked right in the middle of the current, so you got to be really careful you don't get sucked into their boat when you go down by them. I'm drifting down through the slot right now, just below Monterey. It's a beautiful day. Still drifting along, there's some ducks out in front there. Well, do you see the great blue heron? Sitting on the shoreline there. How about that reflection, huh? Yeah, we got some tree trimmers working on a tree over to our left. Let's go check them out. They're taking this tree down, it looks like to me. Sometimes they just cut all the branches off, but these guys may be doing more because I don't see any big branches. But, not sure. Like I say, sometimes they just trim them like that and leave them. Other times they take them down the whole way. The close-up of these guys working up on the tree. I don't like heights much, so it's not a place for me. The guy seems to be cutting off all the small branches, so they might be going to be taking that all the way down to the ground, or at least part way down. We'll check when we come back up the river, see what they're going to do with it. I'm approaching some birds up here, some ducks, and an egret. I think that's the egret. Let's check these ducks out. Oh, look, the egret came back. Just stretching down the river. I'm approaching the Villagran hole, probably my destination for the day. I'll sit around there and contemplate things and play with my video a bit. I made it down to the Villagran hole. This is looking down river from my sitting spot on the water in my boat. I'll be hanging around here for a half hour, an hour, who knows how long before heading back up the river, so. I've been sitting here at the Villa Grand Hole for about a half hour now. Nice sunny day with very low wind, very peaceful, a little bit of road noise from the highway above me, but otherwise really nice. This is looking down the river, and if I pan to my left here, these are some big old redwood trees at Villa Grand. And if we just keep going, we'll be showing you what's up river, where we're going to head back eventually. Monorail's up at the mountain in the middle of the river. So I'm going to sit here for a while yet. Yeah. 
I'm at the Bill of Grand Hole. I've been here for about an hour now. I just mounted my camera on my new mount with my microphone to see how it's all going to work out. Uh, what you're seeing is my view around the Villa Grand Hole. I'll give you sort of a 360 and we'll go around here. There's up the river. Where I'll be heading back pretty quick here. Just keep turning to our right. There's some big redwood trees at Villa Grand. And this is looking down river toward the ocean. It's, I don't know, 10 or 12 miles to the ocean. We we'll keep turning here. It's a pretty nice place to sit. There's usually some wildlife around, ducks, birds, otters. Never know what you might see. Sometimes even a seal comes up the river and goes by here. So let's start battling back up the river. Uh, I've mounted my camera on my pedestal and also attached my microphone. It's a lapel mic that hopefully will keep the sound up so you can hear me as I go. So I'm just leaving the Bella Grande hole, headed up the river. I've got, oh, less than a mile to go to Monterio. So we'll just cruise on up here. Got an egret off to the right here, and some ducks. Here's a couple wood ducks, a pair. They're climbing up on this uh, log. It's rare that you can get this close to a wood ducks. Mallers in the ground on the water. I think Merganser is crossing. There go the wood ducks. There they go. Well, I need to get paddling through this current here. I'm paddling up the river against the current, so I do have a little bit to work against. But I'm careful, and I'll try to make it easier to do. Let's see, we'll go behind this stump. If you get behind something, when you're on the downriver side, the current is a lot less as the uh, things in the water slow it down and change how the current comes down the river. So to paddle up the river, you always go up the edges of things. I'm standing really close to this, and once I go through this ripple right here, I'll start to get less current. I'm gonna pull in here so we can check out the tree guys. They're taking down a redwood tree. Boy, that was some kind of fish just jumped. Did you see that? I don't know, maybe not. Uh, they're taking down a redwood tree over some houses. And you can't just fall a redwood tree anywhere because they can crush things, so they're taking it down in pieces. So what I'm gonna do is just mount my camera, stop here, and show you what they're doing across the river. Here's the house, you can see the boom. Now we gotta take this camera off this mount so we can see the rest of it. So here we have some tree climbers, or trimmers. They're taking this redwood tree down. Right now, they're cutting off little pieces of it and lowering them to the ground, I think. And the guy just said this is the heaviest one so far he's gonna cut. So let's zoom in here and I'll show you what they're doing. I don't like heights, so I'm not sure. I think they're tying things up to get ready to cut the next section. We're not going to stay here long enough for that, probably. They're talking about what they're doing and how they're doing it. 
You don't want to make a mistake up here. You can lose your life really fast if you do. Anyway, that's what the tree trimmers are on, up to, on my way up the river. Looks to me, or sounds to me, like they're cutting this next piece off. So let's see what he's doing. He's got a rope tied to that top section and he's got to tip it over and somehow keep it from hitting the ground probably. Oops. Repositioning for another cut I believe. There it goes. Oh, uh, I think it's behind the tree. Yeah, there it is. See it going down? They're lowering it down with a rope. So the guys on the ground can deal with it. Okay, it looks to me like it's behind the tree. So let's get on up the river. I'm coming up on the little town of Monterio. It's up ahead below the mountain there with the sun on it. I'll work my way up there. Won't take long. I'm working my way up through what the fishermen call the slot. There's one fisherman up there. I think his name is Chris if I remember right. Well, I'm going to paddle up over by his left and stop and chat with him for a while and then I'll be on my way to the boat ramp. Oh, about a hundred yards above them. Catch you later. Hey, I'm at uh, Monterio boat ramp. That's the Monterio bridge there. I'm going to take my boat over there on the ramp, bring my car down, load up, and head on home. Nice day on the Russian River. <laughs>